Hey, what's up everybody? Brickyard Gaming here, and today what we're going to be doing is looking at the loadout editor for Arma 3. Uh, not necessarily learning how to use it or anything like that. If you're interested in that, I'll include a link to a video in the description that I watched to actually learn how to use it. Uh, it goes through how to install it, how to set it up, how to do all of that good stuff with it. Uh, but more importantly, we're going to be taking our loadouts that we've created, and we're going to initialize them in the game prior to the mission starting. Uh, the way that the loadout editor currently works is you have to go in-game, use your scroll menu, get to the apply loadout function, run that, hit OK, and then it gives you the gear that you want. This is a little time consuming and it can actually break the awesome immersion that Arma 3 uh, brings to the table. So how do we get our loadouts in-game before the mission starts and not have to use the scroll menu? It's actually really, really simple. Uh, once you have your loadouts built and you've exported them and saved the profiles and you've initialized the LEA add-on, um, I'm actually going to make an assumption that initializing the add-on is a little bit of an option here. Um, if you plan on using the scroll menu, then yes, absolutely initialize the add-on. I think it might be a little bit of an option in this, in this scenario. Um, Next, now that we have those uh, saved, we're going to go to our Arma 3 directory. Um, some people have it under your Steam folder. Some people have it in a Bohemian Interactive folder. I just simply have it in a games folder, um, Arma 3. And you'll see that we have a user config folder and then LEA. Um, you can probably guess what's in here. Uh, the ones that we don't need to worry about are the control and the loadout.sqf files. We don't need to worry about those. Uh, you will need a basic text editor for this. I use Sublime Text, uh, which I'll include a download link in the description of the video. It's an awesome text editor, very powerful, and it can read pretty much any kind of document you can throw at it. Um, I'll just go ahead and open one of these up, and you can see this is the actual script for spawning your gear. Um, now, there are a lot of tutorials out there that will show you how to write these. Um, but really, who wants to sit there for 45 minutes to an hour that this could take you to look up all the class names, to put it in the appropriate order, to go through and test it multiple times, um, to make sure that everything's working? You know, it's a very time-consuming process. So all we need to do is take from uh, here up, copy it, and then um, we'll jump over in-game and I'll show you what to do with it once we get in game. So we're gonna go ahead and cut here and then we'll get back in game. Okay, so now we're in game. Uh, we're gonna open up the editor. Uh, Stratus is fine. Uh, you can do it on obviously any map that you want. And we're just gonna go ahead and pop a guy down on the uh, ground here. Um, and we'll turn him. Now, to get our loadout to load up on him, because right now when we when we go to preview and we jump in the game here, he's just going to be a rifleman. He's going to have all the default rifleman gear. Um, and that's not what we want because the traditional way to do it is to go like this. And then that's how you get the loadout that you want. And that's not what we want to do. So we'll go ahead and abort here. And we'll go back to the rifleman. Just double click him to get back into the editing menu. And then in this initialization, right here. That text file that we had, why is it not pasting? I might need to recopy it. Just a second here. All right. The text file that we had, all you need to do is just paste it right into the initialization here. Hit OK. And now when we preview, we have our custom loadout. We've spawned with our custom loadout uh, without having to go through the gear menu and apply it. So that was a uh, hopefully quick tutorial. Hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I plan on having a lot more videos. I'll do as many tutorials as I can. If you have any ideas, please drop it in the comments. Um, rate, like, subscribe, and let me know your opinion. Uh, thanks for watching.